Hello students. So, um, well, previously you have been given a task to actually look at this set of code and to find the bugs and to debug them, right? So today I thought I'd just give you my suggestions on uh, where suggested solutions on where these bugs are and uh, how we should change them, right? So let's understand the context of the question. So the context of the question says that to cater for more customer satisfaction, you no know, want to add a new new function, right? Take note, new function. Okay. So what we do is, okay, we want to look at the uh, sizes, right? If it's a uh, choose your size, so if it's a uh, medium size, you add an extra dollar. If it's large size, you add a one dollar fifty cents, right? Sugar level, the options are zero, twenty five, fifty, seventy five, one hundred percent. And then there's two types of topping. You can add pearl, you can add jelly. Okay. So the functions allow a user to customize the size and sugar level and then choose a topping. If the size of the sugar level is incorrect, the function will avoid all the selection. Otherwise, the function will return the new cost of the drink. So there are some syntax errors, some logical error, and we are supposed to identify them. So um, I've identified them, right? So let's take a look. First thing, right? The first one, it says, class drink option well you see i highlighted new function that means that this is supposed to be a function why is it a class here right so that's not how we define a function to define a function instead of using class the keyword that we are going to use is actually define which is def so i change that that's a syntax error right so next one reject okay it started out reject true now we, we we reject it, okay, only if the input is incorrect. You see, it's all in the context. You have to read the question. If the size or the sugar level input is incorrect, we will reject. But since we have not even key in the sugar level and the size, uh we are not rejecting it yet until we show that the input is incorrect. Else that's else it shouldn't be rejecting. So yep. Okay, let me align this. Okay, so that's one, right? So the next error. Now, the next error is uh, quite an obvious one over here, which I'm sure many of you got it, which is the print statement over here, right? We are supposed to print this information for the user. However, right, you can see that down here, it uses a single code to start and it end with a double code. It has to be consistent, right? So we're going to uh, change the double code at the back to a single code. Okay, this is a syntax error, of course, so change the double code to single code. Then the size is input, sure, we can do this. Now notice it says to upper, so we are going to make all the input uh, uppercase. So even if the user key in a lowercase, we are changing uppercase. So with this, what happens is that this line here, we have an issue now, right? Is check whether the size is equal to lowercase m. Uh, no, okay, we have actually converted the input to uppercase therefore we need to change this to uppercase so this is a logical error uh, if you run this program no there's no issue with the, the running it's not a syntax error but it doesn't work properly if you key in the, the m right okay so that's the next error uh, the next one is this right you can see here okay uh, when we choose the uh, m it add one dollar which is which is what's in the context if it's large at one dollar fifty cent. If it is small, um, well, the cost don't become doesn't become zero, right? The cost is uh adding zero zero dollar. So we sh so to make it run properly, we should actually put plus or equals zero so that it adds zero dollar to our base cost. Now this is not a syntax error. It will still run. It's perfectly fine to reset it to zero. The 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 program don't see an issue with it. Okay, but we know that is that's not what's intended. So that's a logical error, right? Logic error. Okay. So the next uh, line is a syntax error over here, right? Because what happened? We test the size, and if the size is um, uh, wrong, it's not one of these three options. Uh, we're going to reject the we're going to reject the the input. So this should be an else. Okay. If what else if then the 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 software okay the program. It's still waiting for the final decision. So it thought there's another option at the end. So this one can run, right? It's a syntax error. If you put else if that there, there needs to be a condition. There's no more condition to test. We have tested all the conditions that we want. So 
uh, change this to else. Okay. Next, line 17. Okay. Um, what this does is that it checks that the sugar level input is actually uh, one of the following, you know, 0, 25, 50, 75, or 100. So these are all numbers that when you uh, divide by 25, you don't get a remainder, right? Uh, so that is fine. But huh, what happened is when we key in, let's say we key in 50, right? Uh, based on the input here, okay, what what is actually received in this variable sugar level is actually a string but over here we are performing some mathematical calculations here so we need to cast this right to an integer so i'm going to cast it to an integer okay so cast the sugar level to integer so that as an integer now i i can go ahead and um, you know uh, divide by 25 and get the remainder okay then uh, two logical error here. First of all, this one, you've got to read the question. The cost, if you add pearl, it is 50 cents, not 55 cents. So that one is uh, straightforward. And then uh, over here, it says else if jelly, which means, right, it is working on the assumption that you, know, the, you only check whether there's jelly uh, that, uh, after you check whether there's pearl. But the thing is, uh, in the instructions, the, the whether you have pearl or you have jelly, they are independent from each other. So it shouldn't be an else here. There's no else here. It should just be an if. Right? Because uh, whether you add pearl or jelly, it's independent. So that's another error over there. Again, logical error. Right? Uh, finally, okay, if the input is uh, not right, okay, uh, if it's reject, okay, we are going to return the base cost, which is which is basically the whatever was input in the first place. However, okay, this one, okay, uh, added cost, okay, if we, we need to change the indentation, right? So if it's um, not rejecting it, okay, we will return with the additional cost, the updated cost, right? So the indentation is wrong, put it properly. And is that the last error? Yes, that's the last error of this piece of code. Okay, so if you run this now, it should be fine. I've actually uh, have another version here that I've already tested. Okay, I've made all the amendment here. I run it. It's working fine. Okay, so I hope you are successful in finding all the syntax error and logical error. Okay, uh, again, for those who are confused, syntax error is actually error in the language itself, in the Python language. So you can't actually run the program. Logical error, the program can still run, but it's not uh, giving you the result that is intended. So you need to understand the context of the question in order to make the right judgment on whether it's a logical error. Or not. So please read the question carefully and match them to the program itself. Alright, so I hope you have been successful with this little exercise. All the best. Have a nice day.